Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Saturn and welcome back to Earthbound. In this episode, uh, we're gonna see what's inside this mysterious hut in Peaceful Rest Valley. Uh, I'm really curious, so let's go! Oh wow, who's that? Uh, there's a girl here that follows us uh, when we move around, so that's pretty cute. Uh, what are you doing here? Who are you? Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. Uh, you can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. A Carpenter? He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. So he's like Palpatine. In that case, you should wear uh, this Franklin badge, okay? What? Do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Oh jeez, yeah. Uh, this is pretty much uh, one of the weaker points of the game. I really don't like the inventory system. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, stop talking. Uh, you should wear this Franklin badge. Yes, and we got the Franklin Batch. I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me, just kick butt like I know you can. We got the Franklin Batch, which is a pretty useful... Oh my god, is this Pokey? Hey Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. Okay, oh jeez. And we have an obligatory battle against insane cultists. Now, these guys are really, really, and I mean it, really annoying. Because not only they're strong, but they can also call for help and they will trust me. They will do this a lot. So let's not waste any more uh, time. Let's let's go. Insane cultist, yeah, he's using a pain attack. Uh, as you can see, these guys are wielding paintbrushes. Uh, we're actually gonna learn a bit more about uh, what Pokey had to say. Uh, the happy happyism. Not sure what would what that but we're gonna find out yeah we won uh yeah they give a, a lot of xp uh, cookie but i don't care about the cookie uh, yep i will all right let's go uh we actually need to hey come back here you fat ass uh yeah we're actually gonna need uh, some oh we have some enemies here I don't remember their enemies being here no sorry I really don't want to uh, fight them because the the enemy that awaits us later I mean the boss Spo spoiler alert uh, it's pretty tricky uh, so yeah welcome to happy happy village uh, it's a pretty isolated place at the end of peaceful rest valley and as you can see, all of the houses are painted blue. And this is exactly what Happy Happyism is all about. Uh, yeah. Uh, they want to paint the world blue. And, well, it's sort of like a, like a cult, like a religion of, or something. And they make uh, human sacrifices. So yeah, it's all messed up. It's really weird to have this in a game like that, but oh well, that's Earthbound for ya. Yeah, they even paint cows blue. Uh, that's actually really, really messed up. Uh, so when we enter here, uh, we can actually talk to a bunch of uh, NPCs here. Uh, we're all one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we might make an exception and let you stay for $50. Uh, Alright, well very well, be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Yes, this is a 
chant that the people in Happy Happy do, you know, before bed. And we're actually gonna, this isn't the last time we're, we're hearing uh, blue blue. Yeah, as you can see, the cultists here are roaming around. Uh, they're pretty dangerous, so I'm just gonna avoid uh, fighting for now. Uh, all of the houses are blue, as you can see, but we have one red house. So, uh, yeah, one of them hasn't converted to happy happyism. And uh, inside this house, well, we have a pretty peculiar fellow living. Let's knock. I'm not sure, boink. Friends? In valley behind three, ding ding. Hmm, that was weird. Uh, what the hell was that font? Yeah, you're not going to get me. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting uh, that uh, we have some unique fonts in this game. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really actually excited to uh, reach this part of the game, the valley behind three. Uh, sorry, I already donated you in the. I'll be your shadow then. If you reject her, uh, I guess I can show this off. Yes, she will follow you, so that's pretty creepy. Okay, um, I haven't finished a thought uh, when we eventually got Paula. Uh, we got ourselves the Franklin Badge. Now, this is a recurring item in the Mother series, uh, having its debut in the first game. Uh, this badge can reflect lighting. Now, you don't have to wear this, you just have to uh, have this in your inventory. So yeah, more uh, inventory filler. Okay, let me just, before I head uh, to the place I'm looking for, uh, let me just uh, see how we're doing with the... Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, yeah, I, we cannot do it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, but if you're interested in buying something, you can get fresh eggs here and you can get them for free. Uh, we trust you, feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? Uh, we can get either a banana or a fresh egg. Agnes couldn't carry any more stuff, obviously, but uh, if you have inventory space, uh, the game will ask you how much are you willing to pay and uh, now you can pay whatever you want you can get them for free <laughs> wow the game really slows down uh, get away from me you creepy woman uh okay here's an enemy which oh geez the game really slows down now uh okay uh, here is the church now the church of happy happyism Let's see how it looks like on the inside. And whoa, that's really, really disturbing. Uh, yeah, it's a maze of cultists. So that's uh, interesting. Yeah, you all you have to do is look for the ones that move slightly faster than all the others. Blue, blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of a prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Yeah, and you have to just traverse through the maze. Blue Blue, what? Are you saying that I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Yeah, they also have some pretty funny dialogue. Green Green, oops, that's not it, I'm still new at this. Yeah, that's my favorite one, if you couldn't tell. Uh, skip Sandwich, not really a fan. Uh, besides, we're gonna get get this uh, in sometime later. Uh, okay, we have some more guys. Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Uh, thank you, you're pretty nice. Blue, blue. You strange, unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven. Yeah, and we actually have to fight some of them. Uh, and they're... I don't... Sh I'm not sure if they have a much bigger chance of spawning uh, their friends. Let's just get rid of them as quickly as we can. Uh, yeah, mortal damage to the teddy bear. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy it's not mortal damage to us. Uh, he should be already uh, defeated by now, so nice. And that's it. Mm, yeah, we have... Um, that's actually pretty weird that 
Uh, we had to fight one of them. Uh, I remember the f fighting three of them at least. Okay, we go here by this door. Uh, yeah, as you can see, yeah, everything is blue uh, here in Happy Happy Village. I I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Oh, wow. Okay. And here he is, a Mr. Carpenter himself, and a strange golden statue. Thanks for coming, I've been waiting for you. I need your assistant to help make the world blue and change it to, into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? Hmm, should we? Uh, we can say whatever we want. Yes, I actually want to make the world a better place, let's go. You fool, I have drawn you into my trap. Oh jeez. Carpenter's, Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. And we begin the next boss fight. Yeah, as you can see, the Franklin badge uh, deflects lightning attacks, which is gonna be really useful in this boss battle because he actually, this guy utilizes uh, lightning attacks a lot. He's basically Palpatine of this game. <laughs> and this guy, uh, nothing difficult. As long as you have the Franklin badge, uh, it's all a piece of cake. Crashing boom bang attack. Yeah, these uh, these lightning attacks sometimes don't even reach you, uh, but if they do, uh, you can reflect them at at him, and they will deal massive damage. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Oh, and he can also heal himself up. Something I completely forgot to mention. Up until he eventually did that. And let's just use PSI Rockins uh, and call it a day. Yeah, and also he hits hard with his paint attack. Uh, bro thinks he's in Splatoon or something. Okay, he should be... Uh... Okay, please hit me. Yes! Yes! The Franklin badge reflected the lightning, dealt massive damage, and he's dead. And we have a lot of XP. But no new level, which really sucks. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I have been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can, I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's a key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. And we got the key to the cabin, so that's nice. Oh, and if we eventually... Uh, go, go to the hospital, I mean the church, not the hospital. Yeah, it's pretty empty. Jeez, what happened here? There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay, I'll get out of here. Yeah. Uh, I don't want the skip sandwich. Let's see what's here. A uh, cross arm. I actually want the cross arm. Let's heal ourselves. And get the croissant. As I said in the previous episode. <laughs> oh wow, uh, everything is going back to normal. Uh, hello, Pokey. You have something explaining explaining to do. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Ness, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Okay. Ha! <laughs> I lied. See you, sucker! Wow, what a plot twist. Okay, we are uh, in... We are in Happy Happy, which is back to normal. Uh, I had many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place Lilliput Steps and it makes them feel uneasy. Hmm, that's pretty interesting, actually. Mm, we might actually uh, check that out. But before we do that, obviously, we have something to do, and that is to save the girl in the cabin, which, yes, it's Paula. So, yeah, let's go and finally do this. Okay. Hello. Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? Mm, not really. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Uh, that's okay. 
Uh, let's uh, let's f release her. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there might be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little f psychic and power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. But before uh, we do that, uh, yes. Uh, she will give us a teddy bear, so that's nice. Paula joined you, and we have a new party member, a second party member. But before we go further, yes, here's the photographic guy. Pictures taken instantaneously. <laughs> As I said, yeah, I cannot speak today. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an headset memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Yeah, as you can see, uh, Ness is only the only one doing the pose, so that's pretty funny. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. It's really funny that Ness is the only one doing the pose, uh, and all the other party members are just gonna uh, sit here. Uh, doing nothing. Okay. Let's uh, go to... As you can see, wow, it all just uh, returned back to normal in a blink of an eye. So that's in pretty uh, insane to think about it. Uh, I'm a changed person. I'm not a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. This is where we're heading next. Before I forget, guys, uh, behind this is Lilliput Steps, and this, I mean the Lilliput Steps, is the second, your sanctuary location. And I always keep forgetting to go there. So yeah. Uh, but before we go there, I'm actually gonna head back to Tucson, uh, obviously off screen. Uh, to level up Paula, uh, give her some equipment, and then we can take on the next sanctuary in the game. Thank you so much for watching, this has been Dr. Saturn. In the next episode, we'll be going in that cave to see what awaits us there. Uh, and I'll see you then. So yeah, see ya!